city of Fort Worth project. Um, I'm the project manager for this project, the construction of North Riverside Drive between Shiver Road and North Tarrant Parkway. Um, we normally do this in person, except for, of course, the pandemic that we've all been enduring. So, but I'll try to make this uh, the next best thing uh, to being in person. Um, just a couple housekeeping things, and then I want to make a couple introductions. Um, uh, if you could um, hold your questions um, in order to make this presentation as clear as I can, because I get distracted very easily. So, um, if you can hold your questions till the end, um, we'll, we'll have a question and answer session then. Um, and and if you would like, you can use the chat function and and type your questions as we go. That way, we can all. Keep up current and my colleagues are going to be monitoring the questions and we'll address them at the end as well. Um, the formal presentation is going to be a short PowerPoint. It's uh, not very long. So your questions will, will we get to your questions very quickly. A um, couple other things first is just again, it would help if we could if you could move, mute your microphone. Um, just to reduce the background noise. So the connection. Um, seems pretty stable, so that's that's a great thing. Um, then, and during the Q and A, will you can unmute yourself and ask questions. Um, I noticed that tonight uh, joining us are Council District Four Director Alicia Ortiz and Council Member Moon, Carrie Moon, and um, I'll ask if either of you would like to say a few words up front. You are doing fine. Uh, I know we've got a good group uh, attending and, and listening in, and this North Riverside project is important to uh, the great Northwest arterial that we are anxious to get finished. We completed uh, the first section there just south of North Tarrant, so looking forward to getting this section north of North Tarrant um, improved and, and appreciate the folks attending. Thank you. Also, tonight, um, Helping me tonight are the lead designer for the project, the lead design engineer, uh, Casey Stevenson. He's a professional engineer from Peloton Land Solutions uh, consultant here in Fort Worth. And also Raul Lopez. He's the program manager for arterials in transportation and public works. And uh, last but not least is Jeff Allen. Uh, he's transportation and public works communications specialist. I want to make I want to make sure everybody understands this this uh, is being recorded. So I think Jeff mentioned that earlier. I'm sorry I didn't mention it up front, but we are recording this and it will be posted on the website. Um, sorry, I'm having a little technical problem, but I, I got it here. Okay. Um, so tonight we're just going to provide as much information as we can in a reasonable amount of time about the scope of this project and update you on a little bit on the schedule. Uh, Kind of give you a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction and provide you with the necessary uh, contact information for you to to get questions answered as we move forward. Um, so the agenda, what I'd like to cover tonight. Um, I'll describe the project scope um, from the higher level, and then we'll kind of zoom in on some of the key details of the project. Um, and then we'll discuss the funding and the schedule, um, the bid phase results, and then uh, again, I'll share my contact information with you and try to answer uh, any questions that you're going to have about this project. So. The goal of this project is to again to improve the capacity and efficiency along the North Riverside corridor um, by improving the roadway along the project limits to four lane divided right roadway. The project limits are Shiver Road roundabout on the north end, and it's going to extend to just south of the North Tarrant Parkway intersection where we will connect with um, the uh, previously. Uh, accomplished work south of North Tarrant on North Riverside, so that will be a complete that will complete the corridor, so to speak. Um, the part, the approximate length of the new roadway section is about 3,000 feet, and so it's a little bit over a half a mile of, um, and it'll be standard thoroughfare cross section. 
uh, standard city of Fort Worth uh, cross section. The intersection at North Tarrant will be upgraded with new signals and left turn lanes and signal protected accessible crosswalks. A uh, small section of North Tarrant approaches are going to be upgraded to accommodate the new left turn configuration. Um, but extensive lengths of North Tarrant are not included in this project. Um, just as an aside, the intersection was first considered as a candidate for a roundabout, um, but uh, after a lot of study and um, traffic projections in the end, uh, signalized intersection was the best option at this location, and that's what we're going to provide here. The project is funded primarily by contributions from local developments in the area, and uh, they benefit, of course, from good durable roads and the reduction of congestion. Um, impact fee assessments have also been applied to this project um, to offset the impacts of uh, the additional users. Um, the segment of the North Riverside is the final phase of the improvement of this corridor. As, of course, you've experienced the recent construction south of North Tarrant. Um, once complete, the corridor will allow more efficient movement and, and comfortable travel, and especially for pedestrians and cyclists, and additionally for pedestrians and cyclists as well. Um, increase in safety at the intersection is also a major benefit that everybody should notice pretty quickly here once we get it going here. The slide here is kind of an overview, a higher level look at the entire project. Um, the red lines, let me see if I can show you. Red lines, sorry, represent the approximate limits of the project. Uh, north is to the right of the page, so your Shiver roundabout is here, Shiver Road. And the intersection with North Tarrant, here's North Tarrant. Here's the police facility here on the, uh, the west side of North Riverside. Uh, Riverside Villas are in here. Just kind of an overview to orient us a little bit. Um, if I go in a little bit closer, uh, we can see a schematic of the roadway portion. This is the four lane uh, divided roadway that we're going to build. Um, Again, Shiver Road is to the right of the page here. Um, west is to the top. So this is the police station here. Um, the divided roadway will accommodate uh, left turn lanes so that they won't delay the through traffic. So we'll have two through lanes each direction. Um, there's heading northbound. There, I'm sorry, heading southbound, which is this direction. Um, there's going to be two left turn lanes, one into the villas here and one into the church, Lutheran church here. And again, heading northbound, there'll be this left turn lane into the police facility. Um, so this is about a half mile, as I said. Um, might be easier to visualize the cross section if I on the next slide. Um, so this is the detailed cross section of the roadway. North Riverside is going to be a four lane divided roadway uh, with a shared use trail uh, on each side. Um, the right of way standard is 110 feet total. The city right of way. The roadway section is 23 feet from the back of curb, um, so the curbs are six inches. So they're, each lane is 11 feet. So there's 22 feet of uh, roadway there, and each in each direction. Um, 10 foot wide trails, as I mentioned, for cycling and uh, pedestrians. Um, there's a median 15 foot median. It's going to be grassy, and then. Uh, you know, except where there's a left turn lane. Um, and so there'll, there'll be variable widths on either side, but it's symmetrical about the center line of the median uh, generally, except for 
if it varies slightly in the right way. That's kind of esoteric, but uh, here we, anyway, and, and the roadway concrete is, uh, it's a concrete roadway, which is a high quality roadway, um, high quality concrete on top of a stabilized subgrade. And this kind of uh, roadway uh, yields a good long life, especially with very good uh, quality control over the materials and the, the construction, which we expect to, to have during this project should last a good long time. Here's here's a, another segment of the project, which is the intersection. So, um, in this in this view, North Riverside uh, runs vertically. So North Tarrant is uh, in the east west on your uh, north is um, to the top of the page on this view. Um, the large medians that exist now on North Tarrant. Um, Kind of make left turns kind of cumbersome and a little bit um, more uh, difficult in operation for uh, an efficiency of the intersection. So the left turn lanes uh, from North Tarrant are going to be cut into the median uh, in, in both directions, and it gives better visibility for oncoming traffic for left turners. And it just makes the time in the intersection much less than um, you would if you came from well on the other side of the whole entire median. So it improves the operation of the intersection and the safety. Um, there's going to be right turn, dedicated right turn lanes on all four corners. Um, the crosswalks. And the curb ramps are going to be in accordance with, of course, the American Disabilities Act guidelines, and they'll be um, much easier to use uh, and much safer, safe for the pedestrians. Um, and of course, we're going to provide access for the local businesses, and um, we'll work very hard during the construction to minimizing any impacts to the businesses um, during the construction. So uh, it's a very high priority for everybody in the construction industry. It's pretty um, much our, what makes us engineers. So, <laughs> so um, anyway, that's the intersection. Um, the, the pro coming to this um, project milestones in the schedule, um, we've completed the design efforts and procured a contractor. The contract has gone through the city's legal and financial vetting and the contract has been awarded. The right of way is acquired for the project. Uh, however, there's just a lingering um, utility relocations that are being finalized now. We're working through the, and we expect those to be cleared by May in uh, about Four weeks or so, May into May. So that that will be the final hurdle that will allow us to go full bore into this. Um, the next steps um, for us will be a kickoff meeting with the contractor that is going to proceed the start of construction. Um, the construction's contract is 14 months of duration. Um, Again, we try to um, do the best we can and beat that and try to uh, um, our substantial completion, try to uh, as, 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 um, accelerate that as much as possible. So, um, but the worst case is that we expect that substantial completion to be done in August of 2022. But again, we, um, we're going to try to do everything we can to uh, provide it as soon as possible. So, um, this shows some of the bid phase results. Um, we opened the bids in November, and again, there's a legal. We we make sure that the bids meet the legal requirements, and that it took a little time. It takes a little time, but the low bidder was McMahon Construction from Grand Prairie. I believe there's a representative on here tonight. Um, and the bid was responsive to all the requirements uh, of that we have. So um, they have a very significant experience with the city of Fort Worth and 
Actually, they are the contractor that are completing the work on the segment of uh, North Riverside Drive that's south of North Tarrant. So they're very familiar with the area and um, hope, hope we can gain some efficiencies there. So um, I told you it was brief, so <laughs> uh, we're excited. Uh, I'm excited to move from design into construction on this project. Um, and our my contact information is there. Uh, should you have additional questions that, that we don't get to tonight? Um, we'll be posting again more information on the project website as the project moves forward. Um, I urge you to follow that if you're interested. And uh, we'll post additional contact information for other members of the project, um, such as the inspector, the construction inspector, and the superintendent on the site after they get assigned. So We'll have that information for you as well, um, but I, I would be the main contact and I, I could get um, that information for you. So um, anyway, we look, we look forward very much to improving this, um, continuing to improve the infrastructure in Fort Worth. And I appreciate your time tonight. Um, I'll try to answer any questions you have along with my colleagues. So now is a good time. So um, maybe we should start Raul with the, um, Chat yes. questions. But thank you, Brian. I'm Raul Lopez. I'm the program manager uh, that oversees the thoroughfares. Um, good evening, everyone. So the, yeah, there's a couple of questions on, in the chat. Um, question number one is any option for double left turn lanes of North Tarrant and the Riverside? Brad, I don't believe that uh, double left turn lanes are warranted based on the volumes on the uh, operation of the proposed signal. Is there anyone from Casey here, or maybe someone from uh, Burnson McDonald that can speak to the uh, proposed operational signal? Yeah, hey, Raul. Uh, this is Casey Stevenson with, from Peloton. Okay. Um, no, based on the uh, the level of service and the uh, uh, population projections, uh, double left turn lanes were not warranted on this intersection. Okay, that, that's what I thought. Thank you, Casey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, the next question is how firm is the schedule? Previous percentage schedules have been based, based by months. Um, the schedule is firm. The only caveat that I'm going to throw into that is that we have on course still on the west side of uh, the roadway. They promised um, that they would be out of the way by the end of May. So if they are, I, I, out of the way by in the, the end of May, we will start construction in June. Should they not be able to uh, fulfill that commitment, then if we if we don't have any opportunities anywhere else to start construction, then we may have to shift it. But I, I don't expect that to happen. And McMahon, McMahon can tell us if uh, maybe they can start in intersection well while uh, the utilities are still in the way. Is anybody? I think there are so. Uh, James, are you in the call? Uh, yes, sir. I'm here. This is James Sprouse with uh, Account Construction. <clears throat> How you James, doing? If let's say uh, Encore was not able to uh, remove the power poles on the east west side, uh, is there any work that can be done within the intersection? Of course, we could. Um, I was actually looking at the phasing plan. And there may be a way that we could actually reverse the phasing plan and go ahead and get construction started and basically just build it nearly in the opposite fashion in which it's presented in the current uh, phasing plan. And that would possibly, I, I need to dig into that a little bit deeper to make sure everything works with the traffic phasing. And we probably need to have a coordination meeting ahead of time. But I think we could roll and get things progressing so we don't just sit at a stagnant standstill. Absolutely. And, and let me tell everybody, you know, we are really excited that McMahon got this job, not only because they have the job immediately south, but James himself and uh, all of his team uh, is an excellent team. I, you know, this is a southern portion is the first time I work with McMahon Construction, and I, I have to tell you, I'm really impressed. And James is an excellent uh, uh, 
uh, staff member and very flexible and always comes comes up with new ideas, new options. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited that McMahon got this this uh, construction project. Well, thank you, Raul. We're you know McMahon's excited as well, and and I don't, I can't take all credibility. We got Manuel Roaches on here tonight as our site superintendent. He's going to be the site superintendent for phase four as long as as well as he participated heavily and is still finishing out phase three just to the south. But well, it was, I, I think we've got a very successful project ahead of us. It's going to have its challenges like any others, but you know how we are. We'll figure it out together and build it as a team. Absolutely. We appreciate it, James. Um, there's a few more questions. Is the intersection at Dalton Street and Prairie Vista going to be redone? Uh, no, the project limits are from Shiver Road to North Carrot. I believe Dalton is further north. And no, that is not part of the scope of this project. Uh, turning left onto Riverside off either street is awkward. Not really sure what that is. That was related to the previous question. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that that's not considered as part of this project. And as far as I am aware, we were not uh, proposing improving Dalton at this time. What is the activity at the roundabout? What is the activity on at the roundabout on the west side of Shiver and Riverside? That might be a developer type project. Um, west side of Shiver and Riverside. Yeah. Um, Let's see. You know, is that construction? I'm looking at a good picture of that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm looking at the Google Maps, and of course, Google Maps is probably six months old. But if there is a roundabout west of the Shiver roundabout, is that what um, Mr. Jones is saying? Yeah, I'm not aware of what's happening west of the Shiver roundabout, and that might be development. Uh, if it's if it's being extended, it might be a development type uh, project. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of what's going on there. No worries, Brad. We can we can uh, chase uh, and see if we have anything on there. Our development uh, development services department. Oh yeah, I'll make a I'll make 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 a note to look uh, to see what's not. But I'm not again. I'm like Raul said. I'm not cognizant of that right now. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll. Uh, We'll take these questions that we can answer tonight and we'll post answers um, in the CIS, in the product site on the website. Was the recently completed project South of Karen completed on time or the delays? No, they're actually, it's not fully completed because we added um, an extension of Summerfields Boulevard, but it's, they're actually well ahead of time. The completion of the project was uh, September 2021. And James, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we're going to be through June or July of 2021, including that additional scheme. Um, depending on, you know, I know there's another possible change there at the Summerfield uh, addition for a turn lane and a crossover. Uh, right. Without that going into effect, if that doesn't happen, I, I think we'll be substantially complete by the end of May with uh, the okay. original contract. Yes, that that little change will happen, James, and uh, for everybody in the in the call, uh, we will be um, cutting a medium opening on the extension of summer fields to provide access to um, Carol, Carolina or Carolina and Trada, um, the cul-de-sac, not cul-de-sac, um, I think it goes all the way through, that, that small pocket subdivision there, we will be providing a left turn pocket so they'll take the westbound traffic and turn west and the uh, northbound okay. traffic. Yeah, well, that concerned. being said, I could we can anticipate a good substantial completion by end of June for the entire project. So also yeah. keep in mind the original yeah. completion date you stated for that project was for the original contract only. With these right. newest changes, right. we've had over a million dollars worth of change orders, and we still complete it by the end of June. I think that's a pretty uh, good achievement for everybody involved. Yes. 
We are in the best hands here with uh, construction. Uh, we completed that project, the original scope, probably six to nine months ahead of time, and we, they're still there because we're at, we've added a few other things that were not in the original contract itself. And they'll still be able to finish that uh, before the original contract uh, time and uh, the, end of the original contract time itself. Uh, Lance Griggs, Summerfield Neighborhood Association. One quick question. Is there any consideration being given to the uh, ability of officers to ingress and egress out of their uh, sector while this construction is going on? I'm sorry. I think I, think I missed uh, something that you said. To, is there any consideration to something officers? I missed the word there. I'm sorry. Yes, the uh, police uh, sector there where they hold the roll calls and, and and go out to the neighborhoods. I was just wondering if there were some considerations given to ensuring that they will always have uh, access, good access to and from uh, North Riverside. Brad, do you want to take this one? I, I, yes, that, that will be maintained. The access is going to be maintained uh, at all times, of course. Um, I, I'm not sure that um, if it's a certain time of day and you're talking about perhaps a um, a large egress and so like with uh, directions and so forth with an officer on foot or something, is that what you mean? Or or you just mean uh, access in general? Um, I just meant access in general, just wanted to make yeah. sure that there were considerations that you know, those officers have to come and go out of there and hopefully we won't restrict that movement. Right now, um, during construction, there will be access to and from the police station at all times. You know, there may be a time when we're pulling one of the driveways, but there will still be access through the other driveway. We, you know, we're cognizant if, you know, that it's a police station and we need to maintain, you know, egress and ingress. I will coordinate directly with the uh, police department staff, uh, the contractor, and, and the city will coordinate directly with them we, when we're putting uh, their driveways. Good for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll try to we co we'll coordinate with um, all all people that have access to the roadway and, and, of course, especially public service like that. So, yes, great. Thank you. So there's. One more question, Brad. How will traffic be impacted during the day while construction is underway? Um, you want to take this one or maybe with Casey's help? Um, I'll start, but then perhaps Casey can fill in. Um, I, I know that at least there'll be a single lane as it, as it currently exists each direction uh, at all times. So um, maybe there'll be some small um, you know, stops when 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 trucks move in and out and so forth. But um, they, 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 I believe the intent is to have the at least the the lane in, at a time that we have now uh, fully um, opened. Um, I don't know if that's pretty general, but maybe Casey has a better answer or but more detailed or anything that you want to add, Casey? Yeah, sure. Um... In in general, the the idea is that we will uh, install temporary uh, some temporary asphalt and uh, some facilities to transfer traffic between lanes. But uh, the idea is that the lanes will be built, you know, northbound lanes first, and then southbound lanes, and then uh, I mean that's that's the full extent of the traffic implications. Uh, at this time, we're not proposing any detours. And it's a uh, of utmost importance to keep uh, access to the uh, police station and uh, all the commercial businesses around there. I hope I hope that helps. If there's any other questions, I I'd be glad to go into more detail. Um, I have a couple questions. Sure. Uh, my name is Gary Wright. I'm the HOA president for Manor Hill at. Um, Alliance. We're situated uh, just east of uh, River, North Riverside at Shiver. So the park that runs through there, that's the, the development there. Um, 
Will there be any closures of that circle at Shiver at all during the construction and will we be able to get in and out of uh, Shiver the complete time? Yeah, they're, they're, we're not proposing any closures to uh, the Shiver roundabout. You'll, you should be able to maintain full access to that intersection. Okay, and it will be four lanes the entire distance, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and one last question there, um, just south of Shiver on the east side, there's a um, there's a bridge where the water runs underneath from the uh, west side to the east side in the park there. Um, that bridge, they have an iron, a black iron um, uh, fencing atop it. And will that be impacted in any way whatsoever? We, we uh, for all holidays, we put our flags on that. I'm wondering if there'll be any changes of that or any removal of that at all. No, sir. Okay. There Thank you be, very much. We're, we're not going to impact those, uh, that head wall or the, uh, Iron fencing above it. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Uh, any other questions that we can help you with? Um, let's see. Morning. There was one more question in chat. Um, oh, okay. He's heard that two or three of the local cement producing plants are down. Are, is there any concern with getting concrete for the project? Uh, Raul, would you like me to speak on that one? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so, again, this is James Pru with McMahon Contracting as uh, the contractor on the project. So, we are experiencing a uh, industry wide shortage of cement due to one of those facilities being down. But McMahon Contra, one, one thing we have going for us on this project too is we own our own concrete batch plant. And as you saw on the other phase of uh, North Riverside to the south, we were able to knock that paving out in an extremely timely fashion by producing our own concrete on site. And we have every intention of doing that again in this upcoming phase. And as of right now, we as a company for McMahon is not experiencing any issues getting cement from our suppliers to batch our own material. If we have to buy concrete from a, another supplier, that then there's that's the issue where we may run into some problems. But for 90% of this job, we will be producing our own concrete. So I hope that helps you with your answer. Thank you, James. That's a good question. Hey, uh, Brad Raul, uh, if you don't mind, I think I might be able to add some, some uh, or, or share some information about the uh, development on the west side of the Shiver roundabout. Oh, that's, yeah, go ahead. Um, construction on that won't be started until later this year, but, uh, Right now, it's going to be more mixed use development. And, uh, like I said, the construction on that, on that should start later this year. Okay, and that's immediately west of the shadow roundabout, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate that information. Casey. If anybody has another question, they please unmute yourself and and go for it. <laughs> um, sounds like maybe that's all. Um, there's no more chat, right, Ro? Um, any more chat questions? Um, there's a West of Shiver apartments retail. So it's it's gonna be both. It's mixed use. 
sorry, uh, Casey said mixed use. Yeah, just to define mixed use is actually both uh, residential and uh, commercial. Correct. So that is the last uh, question that we have in the chat. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for their attendance. Well, thank you guys. Great work, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody.